What does causation mean? It's again, it's the relationship between the action and the ultimate outcome. So, in in civil law and criminal law, the the the, the punch to the person's face couldn't might might in some circumstances might not cause an injury, but in other circumstances it could. So if the if the punch causes the person to have a broken jaw, well that's causation proven. Uh, if it hadn't been for that punch, that jaw wouldn't have been broken. Uh, in civil law, it's it's pretty much the same thing. The the event caused the outcome. Uh, in both civil and criminal jurisdictions, uh, that's what causation means in its kind of barest terms. What is causation? Causation is a relationship between cause and effect. In civil law, it's not enough to say, um, "I fell down that hole in your property and I and I broke my leg." You know, so that's not enough to to establish liability on the part of the person who owns a, owns the property, the land. You have to be able to show that because of that event falling into the hole, that caused me to have these injuries. So the, the causation uh, can be tracked back to the person who owns the property. The injury is one thing, but because of your negligence, it's caused this injury to me. You know, so that that's what causation means in civil law. In criminal law, your action caused the offence complained about. The punch to the person's face uh, caused them to have a black eye or a broken jaw. Or a busted tooth. So the 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 offence or the event, the punch caused the injury. What is the role of causation in criminal law? That is to see whether or not the defendant's actions caused the um, injury complained of. Um, a, a good case in point would be where there's a, a, a melee. There's a, someone's on the ground has been punched by four or five guys. And um, one guy punches him in, in the face, but he kind of skins him. That doesn't cause the injury, but the other two or three guys are now kicking him on the ground, and they cause substantial injuries to his face, broken bones and stuff like that. Uh, you who punched him, even even though you skinned him, you could be guilty of assault, but your action didn't cause the broken bones. There's no causation between that that action and the and the, the ultimate outcome. But for the other guys, there is. They kicked him in the face, and he got his jaw broken. So it's easier to establish causation uh, for those guys than it is for the first guy who punched him. <laughs>